Hey guys, it's Friday morning in Kiev and I'm back with you uh, to start my day with the coffee and paint something cute and quick in watercolor. I started this tradition a week ago and I hope I'll stick to it and <laughs> be here with you uh, painting every Friday morning. So since today it's um, New Year's Eve, the last day of 2021, I think I'll paint something holiday related uh, just like the last time with the penguin. But this time it's going to be uh, like a Christmas slash New Year's uh, cup of coffee. Let's start. So as usual, I'll start with a quick sketch. be a red mug I'll make the outline of the mug a bit thicker. There's this Christmas cookie. Some other <laughs> yummy stuff inside. I don't know what that is. I would need to clear up some of the lines that um, I don't need, especially on the white part of the mug. I guess it's going to be more of an illustration instead of a three hours long fine art piece. <laughs> That's the whole point of my Friday morning sketch. Session. All right, I think this is going to be enough. Um, I have a mug on some sort of, um, like a foundation. Um, maybe a, a saucer like this one. And there will be some uh, magical, <laughs> feel like uh, background. I don't know yet. Uh, but uh, the most important part, the mug will be red. There will be a cookie inside and we'll see what I'm going to do with the background. I haven't decided yet. I'll start with the easy part. Painting a mug. Using cadmium red. One of the most 
typical colors in any watercolor set. So if you decide to paint along with me, I'm sure you have some cadmium red. You can also use um, bright red or fire red, depending on what brand you're using. It just should be very nice, clean and warm red color. And that's it. Alright, right away I'm gonna mix a darker tone of red, so I'll take my red, add some green, it's gonna calm down, red color, and I'm gonna add some of the darker tone, maybe drop a bit of black but just a tiny 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 you got a tiny <laughs> drop of black Working on three dimensionality of the smug right away. And also, my cadmium usually loses the um, tone, so after it gets dry, it becomes much lighter. That's why I went over again just to intensify the color make sure that after it gets dry it's going to be still nice and bright and I think right away I'll just add the foundation and I will make the colors bleed into each other and I think it's gonna look really pretty So my red leaked into the foundation part. <laughs> I might need a bit darker tone here on the inside. And the rest will be lighter. Like so. Maybe even drop some of the orange. Like a highlight. Very carefully I'll drop some of the black to just uh, add the tone. Let the colors bleed, but the only thing I don't like is the way the paint moves here. So I'll help. <laughs> I'll help direct the color. And since my layers are pretty humid in here, I can move them in any direction I want and change the shape of my mug the way I want.
Mm -hmm. So if I start working on the white part of my mug, it's going to make red color bleed into it. So I want to avoid this. I want to keep it clean. So I'll work on the cookie instead. So my cookie will be a mix of brown with blue. For blue color, I'm using cerulean. I really like it. I feel like I don't use it enough in my other paintings, so why not compensate <laughs> in this one? And right away, I'll add some of the texture into the cookie and just let it bleed. There will be some foam in the mug, so I'll just keep it white, whitish, <laughs> and just show some of the shadows with the blue tone. Some other parts that are floating in the mug are going to be bright orange with some shadows made with brown. So technically I'm just uh, sticking to the same color palette everywhere. I use the same brown, the same orange that I used here. I can add a bit more. <laughs> Yeah, and well, the main color for the mug is red. And yeah, so the same colors are just um, browsing through the painting and it looks more or less harmonious because I'm not using like 10 million <laughs> colors altogether. I'm also not really going into details of, for example, what this is right now. It's some sort of cookie, probably, <laughs> but I don't want to, to, to spend time in defining exactly what it is. I would rather leave it for people to kind of guess, imagine, for the fantasy to work, basically. It's also a good opportunity to define the shadows on this, um, uh, how do you call it in English, bottleneck? No, that's for bottle, <laughs> for the top, for the top of the mug. <laughs> not very symmetrical so I am adding more shadow and at the same time working out the symmetry <laughs> I'm 
And since I already decided that the shadow will be on the right, so the right side of the mark is a bit shadowed, then this white part will have more of the shadow here as well. So even though the mug is kind of impressionistic, we still stick to the rules of, you know, proportions <laughs> and to the three dimensionality. All right, so I feel like um, This part with the cookies inside is getting dry and losing its um, accents, so I'm going to add a bit of accent here. Also the cookie is completely dry now, so I can add the star in the middle. Yeah, it doesn't look like a star. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna just cover all of it. let it dry. Meanwhile, I have work to do on the mug. Just a bit of a shadow underneath to separate uh, the mug from the base, but really lightly. Some of the cookies might need extra color. And when you don't know what to do, just uh, take a break and <laughs> take your coffee. <laughs> My favorite part. And while the mug itself is getting dry, I could use this chance to work on the background. <laughs> or maybe it's better to dry it with a hair dryer. Okay, so I dry it with the hair dryer. Um, it's more or less straight now, the paper. And uh, of course, some of the colors got lighter, which is normal for watercolor. Um, and now I feel more confident working on the background. So yeah, I need a bigger brush for this one.
Carefully applying clean water everywhere around the mug so I can work on wet on wet technique. So to keep my paper straight, I would like to thin it <laughs> like this. So more or less um, the page is fixed, um, so it's easier for me to work. And I'll go with the same ceruleum that I used earlier. And I'll mix ceruleum with some of the Indian tran and maybe ultramarine. Ultramarine is a nice granulating color, so I feel like it's gonna give us nice effect. Carefully with the tip of my brush, I'm going all the way close to the mug, almost touching the edge of the mug. Common mistake that people do when they paint um, um, background, they will go all the way close to the object but leave white outline and it just doesn't look realistic, so it's better to touch the object rather than leave white outline in between background and the object. Well, at least me, I would prefer the painting to <laughs> leak into background rather than having like a weird um, white edge. The bottom is slightly darker because of the shadow. And now, now I'm gonna rinse my brush. <laughs> and after I rinse my brush, I'll take um, one of the new ones that I've got. No, I changed my mind. <laughs> I'll take one of, the, one of the old ones and I'll just spray some water. to make water push the watercolor layer away and create nice uh, texture, like if it's snowing. At the same time, I will drop some of other colors, like yellow. Maybe I need to protect my cup.
I hope I didn't get any paint in my coffee, but no, it's not gonna be the first one. And now we can just evaluate what we can change, improve, make better. Um, for example, I really need to rinse this excessive water from the page. So I'm gonna use a tissue to kind of drink the water. A brush can do the same job. to leave some funky um, textures as well. It's gonna pick some of the pigment. And I feel like uh, I can add more concentrated color for the background again. And now the details. So I'm gonna take a smaller brush, and just carefully walk through some tiny elements that would be nice to point out. need to make sure that the brush is not carrying too much water. Needs to be more or less sharp. Sharp in a way. <laughs> the stroke should be sharp. Uh, which means the brush should be dry. Dry and dry. I can take a white gel pen and add some of the details as well. But I think at this point white gouache is gonna do a much better job. So let's switch to gouache.
And the final touch here uh, will be to sprinkle some of the gouache as well. Yeah, it just flies everywhere. <laughs> That's the life of the artist. My coffee is still clean. And I think I should stop there. Um, <laughs> it's important to not overdo uh, your painting. And uh, here it is, another quick, uh, hopefully <laughs> cute, <laughs> uh, watercolor sketch uh, of um, Christmas mug. I wish you amazing holidays and all the best in the 2022.